What's up guys? Welcome to day 11 of Vlogmas. Me and Mac just woke up. We were up, well, I was up until 4 a.m. last night playing Pokemon TCG. I don't know what Mac was doing during that time, but we just got up and it's like, it's like 12.30. It's so late. I just turned on football. Um, I got to edit yesterday's vlog. I have no videos to post, so I probably won't post any videos. I don't really know. Uh, Pokemon TCG is taking over my life. I forgot to say that today is Sunday, December 10th. Yes. Um, I woke up feeling so much better. I took like special sinus specific cold medicine yesterday and I feel like it totally helped. I was not coughing up a storm last night which was really nice and every time I've coughed today like I feel like I can like get whatever's out out which is really cool. So I don't know what the plan is for today. I might go visit my parents. I might not. I might stay home. I might not. I don't really know but We'll have a, a good day. It's a Sunday, so I, I really don't want to make it too stressful. Like, like, if I don't film any more videos, I don't film any more videos. If I do, I do. I just don't want it to be, like, a stressful day. So, we're going to continue snuggling and watching football for a little bit, and then we'll get up and go do some stuff. Right, Mac? Right? <laughs> All right, we'll check in with you guys in a little bit. What's up guys? Look, I'm not in bed anymore even though it's Sunday and I'm not wearing sweats. I'm wearing pants. Yeah, it's because my sweats are dirty. Uh, I'm meeting my friend Ree for lunch. We're going to BJ's and then hopefully I can stop by Best Buy because I need to buy... I broke my headphones. I don't know if I showed you guys these. So I've had these headphones, these Bose headphones forever and they're great and I love them and I keep them everywhere. But <clears throat> a couple weeks ago... I had these plugged into my phone. I put the phone in my pocket. I sat down in my car and it completely, and I don't know if you're going to be able to see this. You're probably not going to be able to see it. Let's see if I can. So like when I sat down on it, it completely like bent the um, little thing that goes inside. And I tried to unbend it and, and I thought I, it would work. It, it doesn't work anymore. It's not working. So I need to buy new headphones. I also want to get a new um, MacBook charger only because I have one that stays in my room and now the one in my garage, which is like my travel one. Look at this big pimple that will go with my travel one. It's kind of like really like intertwined in a bunch of stuff because I, you know, I'm either in my room or usually at in the garage. But now when I'm traveling, like I'm gonna go home to my parents' house, I need to edit the vlog because I haven't posted it yet. It's already like almost four o'clock, but I uh, didn't want to unplug and unroute all the charger stuff. So I'm gonna get a new one t to be my travel one. That way when I travel, I don't have to unplug everything. And yeah, so let's uh, let's do Sunday, right? Yeah. You know that moment when you think you got a really good shady spot parking and then you realize that you parked so far away from the entrance to the restaurant? That's how I feel right now, but exercise is good. Wow, look how creepy this is. Okay, so I'm obviously sitting in my car in the dark. I was gonna turn the light on, but I didn't wanna be that weird person who is sitting in their car alone in the dark filming. But I changed my plans. I just got done eating with Ree. I totally forgot to film any of it. Um, but it was really good to catch up with her. We went to BJ's, which is one of my favorite restaurants. I really enjoy BJ's a lot. And near BJ's, there's a Walmart. So I'm gonna stop by Walmart to see if this Walmart has any of the mystery boxes, because I haven't been to this one. And then on my way home, I might stop by, I might stop by, oh my gosh. I might stop, I might stop by the mall and maybe, I don't know, check out GameStop, maybe go get a massage. I don't really know. I don't have any plans. I do need to go home and edit my vlog from yesterday because I still haven't edited it or posted it, which is so late, but that's okay. I, it's Sunday. I don't... It's Sunday. That's that's all I have to say about that. Um, but then I can also film and stuff. So, uh, Oh, so I changed my plan, so I'm no longer going out to visit my parents, which saves like a five-hour trip, which is nice. Five hours meaning like it takes me like... 40 minutes to get there and then you know I hang out for a few hours and then come back so if I were to do that I'd be out there till like 10 which since I've worked tomorrow I don't really 
want to be out that late. So I'm going to go check out this Walmart and then either, I don't need to go to Best Buy anymore because one of the reasons I want, I mean I do eventually need headphones and I do eventually need to get a charger for travel purposes, but I don't need to do it now since I'm going to go home anyway. So I'm going to go to Walmart and then I might go to the mall um, and just kind of browse a little bit and then... You know, we'll see where it takes us. It's it's a very chill. And the mall's only open for another hour, so if I do decide to go, I gotta go quick, or else they're gonna close. So I do need to figure that out. I don't really feel like going to the mall because it's so busy. Ah, oh, the busy mall. I'm not a fan of that. And I'm also trying not to spend hell of money too. So that's another thing. So I might just go home, and I might just go get a massage at, near a place at my house because that would be awesome, and that would be really nice. Or maybe I just won't even get a massage. See. Sundays. I just don't know what I want to do. But let's go to Walmart first. You guys, I found them. Oh my gosh. I'm so excited. Look at these. Yes. Yes. This Walmart has a terrible pop selection, but you guys, I found mystery boxes. I'm trying to decide what I want to actually get, because in my mind I want to get two of each, but I don't know if I need that. I don't know what to do. You guys, I'm so ecstatic right now. I'm so happy. So I went to this Walmart that it's one that I didn't go to yet, <clears throat> and they had every single mystery box. They had the Nintendo one, they had the Mario one, they had the Zelda one, and they had the Call of Duty one. I'm so excited. I, of course, bought them. They're back there. I'll show you guys when I get home what I got. And now I'm just angry at myself for paying $50 for that Nintendo one. I should have shopped around and actually, like, checked to see if the Walmarts had it. But I'm so happy that I found one. That's, like, so exciting to me. Yes! Yes! Uh, I don't think I'm going to go to the mall anymore because that was a little bit expensive. So I think I'm probably just going to head home. <clears throat> I might stop by one more place potentially maybe GameStop I don't really want to I'm not quite sure what I want to do I'm gonna head home and then see how I feel and then make the decision as I'm going home if I just want to go straight home or if I want to stop by like GameStop or something or if I'm like good I don't really know but I'm so excited I found them you guys I found them yes yes all right, I was uh, gonna go home, but the traffic is so bad that I was like, all right, well, I guess I'll just stop by GameStop and Toys R Us because it's right here and the traffic is really bad. So I'm gonna stop by here really quick and then I'll sit through the traffic. I just hate sitting in traffic, especially on at nighttime and on Sundays. Why would there be traffic at nighttime on Sundays? It's because everyone's coming back from whatever weekend trip, but still, it's Sunday. It's the weekend, no traffic at nighttime, come on! This is way cooler than the first season winner. Like this is at least cool. And this is cool too. Better than that. What the heck? I feel ripped off. I used to have these when I was younger. I thought they were the coolest thing ever. Why would anyone want to make kinetic sand ice cream? What if kids actually thought they could eat that? That's disgusting. Look at all these tech deck things. I used to have these like ramp things. Oh my God, I had this thing. I had this like exact thing. That's so crazy. I know some people, oh my God, they have the BMX bikes one. The kids at my work would love that. I can't find the Funko Pop section here, but ooh, Hello Kitty. This just looks dirty, doesn't it? Hey, this is like the McDonald's toys, kind of. Whoa. Uh, ooh. Uh -huh. That's such a cool skateboard. This is so cool.
They rolled out um, in September called a Pro. Um, <coughs> first entry originally released on the name Plenty. However, that changes the way they very little in the way of slowing down the momentum of this franchise. As its original engine is intended to be one of the greatest in the world. Our potential successor on the Wii U also received some more This new entry on the Wii U. All right, guys. So I totally just got suckered at GameStop only because I went to get one mystery box and I ended up with this bag. So I know a lot of you guys told me about the bag thing, but I didn't really listen to you guys to be honest because I was like, oh, I'm not actually trying to buy a whole bunch of stuff. But what happened was I went to go buy the box and they were like, well, if you add this bag for $2, you get 25% off. So it ends up being cheaper than just buying the box myself. So I was like, okay. So then I was like, well, I might as well buy other stuff. So I was like, okay, I'll just pick up a couple packs of Pokemon cards because instead of $4, I can get them for $3. So I started doing that and then realized that they were also having a buy one get one 50% off sale with the Pokemon cards. So one pack would be $3 and then the other pack would be a buck 50. So for 450 I could get booster packs, which is cheap, two booster packs. So that's like 225 a pack, which isn't bad. I mean not as cheap as when they went on clearance. And I was sad that they didn't have any more Guardians Rising packs. They only had, I got a bunch of Burning Shadows packs. So I bought a bunch of those because I couldn't help myself and I got one more mystery box and I definitely could have filled up this bag way more but I didn't because I just didn't I wasn't planning on buying all of that it just kind of showed up unexpectedly but that's a good deal on Pokemon cards and they said that this is only gonna this promotion only lasts for like two more days but I think I'm good with what I got like I don't need any more Pokemon cards I'm getting obsessed it's awful like this is why I try not to obsess over things because I end up buying all this stuff Let's go home. Let's go home before I go broke. Ugh. But just so you guys know, those mystery boxes only cost me $15 because of the whole bag thing. So that's pretty cool. Instead of 20, I got them for 15. I don't even know why I went in there to get them. I had told myself I was done getting them. I just feel like I need to get a mystery box that doesn't have a Ryu. And they had them out where we could pick them. And there's this row of boxes that were all the same, except one was different. And I know you guys told me like, oh, there might be one that's different. So I picked the one that's different. Although I don't know, I think the bot, the one on the bottom is the one that's different potentially. And then I picked one more just in case. So hopefully we got a chase out of the two boxes that I bought. I ended up with two. Did I tell you guys that? Two boxes. Okay, we need to go home. We like need to go home for sure. It's too much. I, sh I feel like I should have bought more Pokemon things because the GX boxes, let's say GX box was $20. 25% off, which would be... $15 and then buy one get one half off so it'd be 15 plus 8 which is $23 so it'd be a little bit over $10 each that's not bad uh, for a $20 GX box I mean those are the ones that I got on clearance for like five or six dollars so it's not the greatest but if any of you guys want to do early Christmas shopping and your kids like Pokemon cards that's actually a really good deal uh, if you do the bag thing, the 25% off. I don't know how long the buy one get one half off thing is because they weren't promoting that. That just like happened. I was like looking, I was like, why are the packs of cards only a buck fifty? Or like why are some of them three dollars and some of them are a buck fifty? So it ended up working out. But I would definitely suggest that because, you know, instead of going to like Target or Walmart where the boxes are hell of expensive and you have you, they, those never go on sale. So GameStop in general, if you're getting just booster packs, I suggest GameStop anyways because GameStop is only four dollars. It's three ninety nine a booster pack normal price, and at Target they're four twenty, and at Walmart they're four ninety nine. So in general, if you're just trying to get a booster pack, you should go to GameStop. Okay, let's go home for reals. All right, guys, I just got home. And I was cleaning up the space before I started taking all the stuff out of my car, all the tons of stuff that I bought today. Um, so before we do that, <clears throat> I wanted to do a couple pack openings only because I opened my other Mimikyu pack that I got <clears throat> so that I could give a couple packs to Jackson because Chris came by earlier today. So I wanted to do the other two packs that were in there and see if we got anything good and to get code cards, cause you know. But before we do that, I will share this code card 
This is uh, this is just a card. I think this will just give you a Mimikyu card. But since I already did, come on. Since I already did one, there it goes, yesterday, I figured I would share that. So there you go. I think that just gives you this card, I believe. And then let's go ahead and really quickly open these. I have one pack of Sun and Moon and one pack of Fates Clyde. You know what I was thinking about? We should have done like, I should have made my own Pokemon admi advent calendar. Um, because why not? Like I totally have enough Pokemon cards. So I still might do that because I just bought a bunch of Pokemon cards today at GameStop. And then I have actually this, which came in the mail after Jackson's birthday. This is a pack of the dollar, dollar store packs I got for his goodie bags. And then I still had some of the packs because, um, you know, I ended up giving the kids my own personal collection of dollar store packs. So I still have some of those left over. So, you don't see. Anyways, let's go ahead and do this. Uh, let's go ahead and open the regular Sun and Moon. I haven't been a huge fan of the regular Sun and Moon pack. I like Guardians Rising and I like the Burning Shadows, but the regular Sun and Moon one hasn't been great. We got a green code card, which means that we probably didn't get anything. Three, four. Let's check it out. I went on a Pokemon TCG spree last night and played for like five and a half hours. I probably won as many as I lost, but it wasn't too bad. I've been changing up my Pokemon. Okay, we got a Reverse Hollow Caterpie and we got a Cloyster. I just hate how this is a state, like I have, to, I don't like when I have to evolve a lot of Pokemon in order for them to be good. I know that's lazy of me. Uh, let's go to do this Fates Collide, a pack that I didn't think I was going to like, but I got a really cool Kingdra card yesterday that I was a fan of. Uh, green code card, so probably nothing in here either. Oops, I messed that up. Yeah, this is definitely a rare card. Okay, well, here we go. Totally messed it up. Sorry, guys. Sorry, sorry, sorry. And Adino Spirit Link. Again, one of those cards where you have to have an Adino. That's not fun for me. I don't have that card. All right, so that was our uh, pack opening. To make this a little bit more exciting, shall we do... Let's do one of these dollar store packs and see if we can get anything. These ones don't come with code cards, but they're they're fun to open. I mean, card packs in general are fun to open. These only come with three. Nothing. Nothing. Oops, sorry. Nothing. Is my camera blurry up here on the top corner? What's going on? Oh yeah. What's is my is my camera broken? Can you guys tell that it's blurry on the left side? That's weird. All right, maybe it's because my lighting's not good. Should we do one more dollar store pack? Let's do um, a Burning Shadows. See, you guys, I'm so addicted to opening packs. I can just do this all day. Uh, nothing, nothing. Okay, we need to stop. All right, guys, I just want to show you guys what I got at the store. Uh, Walmart, they had the Culturefly Legend of Zelda mystery box it's not really mystery because you know it tells you what's in here although there is an exclusive vinyl figure I don't know what that is because I haven't seen any unboxing videos I did get so I got two of those I did get another um, Nintendo one only because I feel like since I paid $50 for one online that I needed it. I actually got two of those as well I think I might give one as a Christmas gift to somebody um, and then I also got the Super Mario mystery box Again, it kind of tells you what's in it, but there's also a mystery vinyl figure in that. I got two of those. And then, just because they had it, I ended up getting one of the Call of Duty boxes. I'm not really interested in this, but I figured we can open it, and then I can put this stuff in my giveaway. Not sure what that exclusive item is. So that's what I got from Walmart. I was really, really excited to find these because I've been looking for them everywhere. And then the other trip that I went to was GameStop. They were able to talk me to this bag. Um, they have this bag thing, and you pay $2 for the bag, and anything that you fit in the bag, you get 25% off. Hot Topic actually does this sometimes as well. Um, I obviously did not fill the bag because I wasn't trying to even do this. Really, the only reason I got the bag is because the mystery box, which is $20, they were like, well, if you buy the bag for $2, you can get the mystery box for $15, so you can get it for $17 total, so it's cheaper. And then I was like, okay, let me add a couple packs of Pokemon cards, and then I saw them ringing them up, and they were cheap. So you guys heard the story already, buy one, get one, half off, plus the 25%, which is great. And then I got two mystery boxes. Um, I believe the bottom box is one of the boxes that was that was kind of a different, it was like different than all the other boxes. There was a, it was basically like, 
they had a row of boxes like this, right? But then the one that's in here was the only box that was the opposite way. So I know you guys told me that that's a sign that there might be a chase. I also tried to get the not super heavy ones because that's usually, a, I guess, a Ryu. I don't know. The Ryus are so heavy. Um, so yeah, I got a bunch of Pokemon cards and then that, and then the bag for $2. They said that this is only going to last until the bags run out, so... I don't know how long that's going to be, but it's a good deal, actually, especially with the buy one, get one half off Pokemon, if you're interested. <sighs> hey, guys. It's the end of the day. I finally posted my vlog from yesterday, so I feel good about that. I am editing. Max here. Uh, but I keep pulling my USB cord out of my laptop. That's the one thing I can't... I have to be careful about when I put the laptop in my lap like this. Where I'm, like, sitting with it, because... Sometimes a blanket pulls my cord out and then it disconnects and it messes up the files and it's, it's already done it twice. So I need to be more careful is what I need to do. But before we go, let's go ahead and do our advent calendars because we haven't done those today. Max like, oh, I hate advent calendars. He's gone. Okay, we're going to start off with the uh, Tsum Tsum calendar. <clears throat> what day is today? Today is the 10th. Yes. Yeah. What did we get? Uh, so far these, uh, these big ones haven't been so great. It's a little, like, nest. I'm assuming the Tsum Tsum, why is there, like, circles on the bottom? Are the Tsum Tsum supposed to, like, fit in that or what? Because I feel like that is supposed to be the top. So it's this great little green nest. And it has, like, s lights, lights. Oh, it's like, it's not a nest. It's a cord of lights that make a nest. And I'm assuming... You then take like your Tsum Tsums like that. I mean, what about the big ones though? Where's our big one? Do we have a big one? What is this our big one? Like, isn't Tigger gonna fit on this thing? I don't understand these. Does he fit on this one? Oh, he kind of fits on that. Is that what it's supposed to look like? And then you like... Oh... I get it now. That was alright. That was okay. Let's go ahead and do our Funko Advent Calendar. So we did 1 through 9 yesterday. Let's go ahead and crack open number 10. And see... Whoa. What's inside? I hope it's not a duplicate. It feels different. Okay. Oh, I love this one. Oh, this might be one of my new favorites. This is Chef Freddy. Chef Freddy Funko. He's got a chef hat on and his little apron with some mistletoe. Oh, I like this one. Okay. I don't know if it beats the, like, pajama one or the elf one, which I, I still love as well. But I like both of these. The camera doesn't know what to focus on. Okay, that's a cool one. I like this one today. That one's, I like your chef hat a lot. So we have Freddy Funko with his chef hat. All right, well, that was another edition of Advent Calendar. What's in my Advent Calendar? I already took off my socks for the day. I was going to do another episode of what socks do I have, but what did I have today? I had some Evie socks. I had some, oh, I had, I think it was Charmander and Dory socks. Actually, I think it might have been Star Wars and Dory socks. I don't actually remember. I'll try to remember that because I think, what's on my feet? Or what socks do I have? Whatever that's called. I think that'd be fun. Um, one of the things I think I might start doing is I think I might create my own Advent Pokemon calendar. So that each day I can just unpack one pack of cards. Because I think that would be fun and I would enjoy that. So I might do that. I'm still debating. But if I do it, I'll try to start it tomorrow. All right, I'm going to keep editing and finish up and then go to bed. Thank you again for joining me on another day of Vlogmas. I had fun today. It was a very chill day. I didn't wake up until late, but, but you know, it happens. That's what happens. That's Sunday. Sunday's for you. Uh, my football picks didn't do very good, so that's not great. But other than that, I had a good day. It was fun. I felt like uh, I got a lot done. I filmed a lot of videos tonight. I'm very excited to have those, and yeah. So I'm going to end it here, but uh, thanks again for joining me. If you like the video, feel free to like, subscribe, comment, do all those fun things. And I hope that you will join me for another day of vlogmas tomorrow.
But before we go, we need to do the video shout out. Today's video shout out goes to, I don't, I feel like I've given a lot of people video shouts that I don't want to do a bunch of duplicates. I'm gonna give the video shout out to Jeremy Abraham. Jeremy Abraham, you get the video shout out. Thank you so much for watching and commenting and supporting my channel. I appreciate it. and. It sounds like you missed my old uh, setup, which was me filming in bed, which I actually kind of miss it too. It was nice to be able to just like wake up and film instead of having to like either go downstairs or go to the garage. Um, but you know, maybe one day it'll be back. So Jeremy, Abraham, you get the video shout out. Shout out to you, Jeremy. Shout out to you. All right, guys, I will see you guys tomorrow and have a great day. And yeah, that just, yeah. Okay, see you tomorrow. Bye.